If you don't know about GoPro Labs for your Hero 8, you really should check it out. I've been using it for all year, basically. I, I, I tested it out on uh, Top Gear America and never had any issues with it. I literally never found a bug with it. So if you at first it, I didn't really understand what would be so great about QR codes, um, but let me show you real quick just a couple of amazing things. One of the big ones is 12 gig chapters. So if you look at this, this command, this if you just literally just point your camera at this code, this QR code, it'll set it for large chapters, which means you can have bigger than four gig. Uh, segments and as you may know when you when you when your video is broken into four gig segments you can't put it back together in real steady so if you're shooting anything long that you want to go into real steady to work you need to do it this way as far as I know um, so this will give you big chapters which is great the caveat is that they won't then play back in GoPro software on the GoPro but that's just really kind of not been an issue for me it's it's better to have the big chapters um, another one is precision date and time this one's pretty huge if you point your camera at this thing at any moment it's giving you down to a tenth of a second of the actual time according to your GPS and you can do this on your phone I'll show you the phone app uh, so when I'm out in the field working on a gig I resync my GoPro constantly with this thing to give me accurate time of day which is important you know when you're turning in your files um, sometimes you get to slate and sometimes you don't but at least they're always happy when you have time of day so you have all these other things you can put owner information on your camera and all that but here's what's really amazing all right what we're going to look at here is just how awesome are some of the possibilities of using QR codes with uh, naked GoPro setup if you're running a Hero 8 you can run GoPro Labs and therefore you can run QR codes and there's a lot of magical things to, that that's going to allow you to do that you might not have thought of for one thing most of us or many of us don't have a screen on our naked GoPro so that's pretty much what's going on when I turn it on uh, one of mine actually has a functional record button the other one doesn't so I was always trying to connect and then when I get to the end of my flight, trying to reconnect so I could stop the recording. Because, you know, if you disconnect power while it's recording, you corrupt your file. You can save your file. I'll talk about that in a different video. Uh, but um, you won't be able to real study that recovered file, which is a bummer. Because all the time, I pretty much 100% of the time, I want to real study my files if I got anything good. So... The QR code uh, generator for, for GoPro Labs is online. I'll show you in the browser. Uh, you can see right here. And then also there's an app that I run like this. So what I do is I get into the app, which you can see here, and I have different settings that I use. So let's say I shoot 4K 4x3 30 a lot. Um, or sometimes 4K 60, uh, just or if I'm going 120, I'll go 2.7K or 2.7K 4x3 60. You can see these settings. My Pro Tune, I pretty much always have set to 5500, low sharpness. Currently, I'm going GoPro color scheme. Uh, once I get back out on a TV show, I'll go flat. Uh, but for now, just using GoPro just saves me. Uh, my my poor color correcting skills basically and you'll notice on each one of these there's an extra command in there uh, at the beginning the that says o m burn equals blank and then exclamation mark two capital s and what that means is that it's going it it's it's a hack basically let me show you if this hopefully shows up here this is from GoPro support. Enable to be able to stop the camera. So you can start the camera with a code. You just hold this up to the screen and it starts it with whatever settings you've got here. In fact, I always put time burn on it as well. And that uh, sets my time of day to exactly what the time of day really is uh, by GPS. 
uh, which is really good. So now the trick to that O M burn equals command is that it now sets your GoPro in a mode where it will also see QR codes while it's run recording. And that means I can use my stop command or more often what I will use is stop and turn the camera off. So when I come in for a landing and I see that everything is still working properly, I just hold this up, let the GoPro see it, usually takes a second or so, and it will blink. And then it'll blink, 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 meaning that it's turning itself off. Uh, if I didn't want to turn, turn it off, I would just hold this one up. And the difference is uh, just to stop the recording is exclamation mark capital E as you see here, and then uh, capital E, uh, exclamation mark, capital E, and followed by exclamation mark two capital O means turn off in two seconds. If that was a three, then it would be turn off in three seconds. If there's no number there, then it should be turn off right away. But I don't know if this is true or not, but I feel like I should give it a second after it stops, then shut the camera down. Um, I know that, that these, these lab sequences do handle things in order. You can see the QR command here on this one, uh, right there. It's, you know, all of those things. That's a start command. Each of these is a start command, and I like it because it starts my video in the mode that I want it to be in. It sets the camera to video mode with that MV, um, the R4... P30, you know, each one of those things means something. And you can end up going into the QR code generator um, and, and see all of these commands, but there's a very easy one here that just lets you go through and, you know, I want video, I want 4K 4x3, 30 frame, wide lens. And once you set these up, it's changing the Q, QR code each time here. Um, Pro tune, tune settings, you know, GoPro color, high bit rate, all of these. And now this is generating this code down here for, for you, which you can just point your GoPro at and it'll start, uh, it'll, it'll put it into those, into that mode. And if you also put that um, code, this code, OM burn equals blank start S. So if you also put that in there as an additional command, it just adds it in. If you also say to set date and time automatically, you'll see the time is ticking one second at a time. In the app, it actually ticks, I think, by hundredths of a second. Uh, so it's very accurate. Cool, huh? Now one other thing I have, one other thing I've figured out here is that uh, there is an option. I'm going to reset this page. So now it's just uh, QR control ready. Um, and then if you look under camera preferences, you can turn Wi-Fi on and off. So I'm turning Wi-Fi off on mine because I'm not connecting with the GoPro app and I figure maybe that'll save me a little bit of heat generation. So literally what I do is my camera is on. I've got this one hooked up. I point it at the screen there and you see the little light flash it'll keep doing it. So if you're pointing at one of those QR codes, um, it points for, yep, and, it, and once it registers, it'll start registering it. So my Wi-Fi is off now. So let's just say from a workflow standpoint, I'm out on production, I've just swapped my battery out, I've connected everything up, the, the, this one turns itself on because I've, I've shorted the mode button. So it came on, I know that it's on. Now I'm ready to go, I'm just gonna hold up my phone with this QR code to the camera, give it a second, and then boom. So I have that one set to um, 4K 4x3, 30 frames, and then um, it's set to start recording pretty much right away, which it did. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna flick it to this other setting, which is stop and turn the camera off, and hold it up. And again, this, this definitely works better when you have it on paper because you get your it's easier to figure out where your focal length is, but that basically stopped the recording and turned off the camera. So now it's safe to unplug with my settings intact and files intact.
Cool, huh? 